Welcome to Mullin Chips, the fanzine for the Ilford District Churches Football League. Today's date is Saturday the 1st of October 2022 and we're featuring today the match between GDSTP and Emmanuel FC. The fixture last season, just been looking at the records, it was a 4-3 victory for Emmanuel. So potentially I suppose there's plenty of goals but which way would it go? Well, we wait and see, won't we? The weather today is quite bright, but it is breezy, and we're looking for a bit of action on this autumn Saturday. So let's get on with it, shall we? Well hi, it's back after the matches today, so a lot of action, quite a lot of comment about the different things that are going on in different matches and some surprising results as you will see, featured match between GDSDP and Emmanuel which we will talk about in detail in a few moments. I have to say that Emmanuel whilst they went up 2-0, GDSDP got, got back 2 all, and then Emmanuel got a penalty towards the end and clinched the victory. So anyway, no more ado. It's now my great pleasure as my guest to introduce Alex. So, well done, Alex. Well done, <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Come on, Alex. So, okay. Thank you, guys. Well done, Alex. <laughs> See you there, guys. Uh, right. So. Hard luck on the results. Yeah. And glad to see you're still smiling. We will talk about that in a moment. But um, as you know, the first yeah, thing yeah. is to read the results. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. All right, guys. Here are the results for Saturday. 1st of October 2022. New Coventry Church 1, City Gays 2, East Ham 1, KICC Royals 3, GDSTP 2, Emmanuel FC 3, Apni FC 3, ANM FC 3, Heart Rangers 2, ANC 1, TLF 2, Apple Stars 4. So, yeah, that's the result for this week. And well done for this week, guys, and good luck next week. Yeah, so um, thank you, Alex, for reading the results for us. And just before we get on to the interview and talk about the match, I just want to give a bit of publicity to one of our sponsors, the Football and Cricket Store, based at Maybank Road in Woofer Bridge. They're a supplier of kit and also do printing. I strongly recommend them. The guy who runs it, Richard, is very supportive of grassroots football as what we are. So if anybody wants anything on their kit, particularly playing kit and some accessories, he doesn't stock everything, but he can usually get hold of things. Uh, please at least give him his call and just see how you get on. Alex. Wow, yeah. what, what a match, eh? Yeah. What a lively match. <laughs> Always these guys, you, you you know, sometimes you feel you might have to put earplugs in, but you know, no, I, I don't mean that. Yeah, yeah I do mean we're too loud it's, it's a compliment. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. It's um, a really good it's to passion. see, <laughs> to hear the passion, let yeah. alone see it. And um, it was a cracking match, I would nah, say it was, that. It was, it was, it, it was. Especially for me as well, like, for yeah. some. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so that's about football. So yeah, yeah. 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 So, mm. so um, uh, yeah. The, the, so Emmanuel went one 0 up in the first half, didn't yeah, they? Um, yeah. And my impression as a, a neutral, I have to say, I'm a neutral. Um, I would say they probably edged it, and mm -hmm. um, I wouldn't have been surprised if it went in one, uh, nil nil mm -hmm. half time. But they mm. got a goal around about halfway yeah, yeah, through yeah, the yeah. half. Yeah. Uh, so it's one 0 at half time. And uh, then they got a goal just after the restart, yeah, which I thought, oh yeah. dear, these guys might really <laughs> yeah, suffer. Yeah, some, make some changes yeah. and then, yeah. Then, not soon after you got one yeah, back, and yeah. uh, then you got another one moving yeah, on. Two. But unfortunately, you got that, yeah. you know, conceded that penalty yeah. right yeah. towards the end, and that was well, it. Try to win the game, that's the thing. You didn't like, try to say that, like, keep the, yeah. the draw, and then you try mm. to, like, to win. Um, yeah. Yeah, take a risk. <laughs> yeah, indeed. Off. So, um, uh, you had the um, uh, the Golden Boot winner last season. Oh yeah, Murillo. Yeah. So was Murillo playing today? <laughs> yeah, he playing the striker. Yeah, number nine. Oh yeah, right, oh, nine, so that yeah. was Murillo. Yeah, oh right, yeah, yeah. okay. So uh, 
Yeah, he's he's pretty useful, isn't he? No, he's yeah. he's he's, so, he's uh, yeah. Okay. No man there front <laughs> <for us. laughs> So what, what what do you think your strengths are as a team? Would you say the strength like technical or? Well, yeah, it could uh, be technical. General. Yeah. Oh yeah, my strength like uh, leadership. I would say that leadership. Yeah. Even though I'm not a captain, but I'm there like kind of support my mates and yeah, give that positive uh, like feedback for even though you make a mistake. And yeah. Yeah. When it comes to mental, like that's my strength, like mental strength, and so I give you my. I touch past that for my teammates as well. Yeah. And my strength as well when it comes to physical ability. <laughs> <laughs> well, there was a lot of physical yeah, going yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> But anyway, um, yeah. I will say uh, that t today is the first match that I did an interview at half time with the referee. All right. <laughs> <laughs> because it get, did get a bit tasty towards the end of the first yeah, half. Yeah. Um, <laughs> We've got Ryan here, he's, he's refereeing this uh, this highly contested match. Half time, it's 1 0 to the menu. Yeah. So, okay, Ryan, is it going okay? Yeah, it's a, it's, it's, a really com it's a really tough game, put it that way. About both teams trying to win. It's yeah. just finding that balance where they don't cross the line and getting too physical, over physical. But yeah, it's, just, it's, it's really good. I'm, I'm actually enjoying it. It's a really tough game to match, uh, to, to, to referee. And that's the kind of match you want to referee in. So yeah, hopefully second half we get them to start to play again and they've calmed down. Before we restart, I'm going to speak to both managers, both captains, remind them of their duties, responsibilities, why we, exactly, and why we play and how we play. So indeed, exactly. So hopefully good second yeah. half and it should be all good all fine okay Ryan thanks very much no worries thank you Ryan uh, ref very capable ref and yeah. very fair I felt yeah no he was yeah. and he calmed yeah. everything yeah. down spoke to, yeah. to you and yeah, the, yeah. Emmanuel's uh, skipper and both managers uh, mm -hmm. start the second half and fine you know in the rough and tumble of a map things get a, a bit out of hand and yeah. it's always in the moment but I'm always pleased to see the teams shake hands yeah. at the end and no, just get on with it. Yeah. Yeah. So Whatever I'm the pitch, I have to stay in the pitch, not yeah. outside. Outside the four <laughs> lines, it's different things. Yeah. So, so yeah. what did you say? What, what, what was the, um, the thought at half time? Because, you know, one nil yeah, down. Think, yeah. And um, so, and then you got the goal against you. Yeah, again. yeah, 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 yeah. So, I mean, you know, you, you stuck with it. Your yeah. heads didn't go down. Yeah, that's the thing about our team. So, because... You know, always like think about if we can score more than our team. So that's why you just until we until yeah. we blow, like the ref blow the whistle like full time ninety minutes, we just keep going, keep it going to see if yeah. we can go yeah. can score more and more. That's why we're passionate about like scoring goals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, that's why so we you got, going. Yeah, you got yeah. the golden boot then, last season. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, so that's why. Yeah. yeah. And funny enough, because um, uh, the the fixture last year was four three to Emmanuel, so just oh, a yeah. goal. Yeah, so, yeah, so again, yeah. we had a goal difference in this yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. I felt sorry for you guys because yeah. um, I thought you fought back well, two 0 down. Yeah. And I thought, well, this is going to end up on a draw, but you mm. know, the ninety minutes. Ninety minutes. Yeah, that's yeah, what I'm yeah. saying. Like the football only stops when the referee blows the whistle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, you've been around a few years now, then, yeah. Alex, haven't you? So, mm -hmm. my question is: mm -hmm. is what is your best moment in the league so far? Uh, yeah, yeah. That bit, was bit of promotion for our league. Yeah. So whatever you feel. Well, performance-wise or in well, general? Well, you can you can say general. You know, you can praise the chairman yeah. if you like. All right. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you doing a good job. Yeah, I would say. All right. Performance-wise was last season when I scored a, the goal from like halfway. That was oh, a nice, oh, massive right. thing. Beckham, eh? Yeah, that was a nice goal. I mean, so that was my best performance-wise. But the league in general, like I like the the praise because I'm a Christian, so that's more, very important for me. I believe in God. So you well, guys see me. Well said, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's so right. Before the game, I always pray, and after the game as well, thanks God. Well, so, um, so I like that, pray even the prayer we do, just done before the game as well. So yeah. I like it. So that's a Christian environment. So because I believe in Jesus. So yeah, so well, that's indeed. most important. Well, to well, be part of this league. Well, our league has got a Christian ethos. Mm -hmm. It's not exclusive to only Christian guys playing yeah. or. Christian teams yeah. playing, uh, which I think is a good point. We have people coming from all faiths and yeah. no faiths. Us guys who are Christians, we need to set a standard yeah. that actually we can demonstrate uh, being Christians, if you like, mm -hmm. a Christian way of life yeah. outside of church, you know, because yeah. we, we're not just like in a box, yeah. we live our everyday lives yeah. as well. Yeah, thanks, Alex, for, yeah. for saying that. You know, I do make uh, strong conditions for any teams applying for the league uh, mm -hmm. that there should be a link to a local uh, church or fellowship yeah. and a name of a minister that I can contact and just to uh, just to touch base with them. So 
Well, Alex, <laughs> so, so well done. And Thank you. again, I'm sorry about the result for you guys That's today. Fine. Football so, sore. yeah, sorry. Now it's about football, so just now, our heads now is about next week now. So. Again, you cannot do nothing, so now you focus on the next game. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's right. I mean, yeah, it's a long old season. I mean, it's 15 teams, so yeah. everybody plays each other once, and then we split into two divisions. Yeah, there's a lot there. And you mm. won last week, didn't you? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're scoring goals. I always say, as long as the team's scoring, scoring goals, so, yeah, we're good. that's always a good point. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. Alex, <laughs> <laughs> as a veteran of watching mullet and chips, you know about the ABC quiz, don't you? Ooh, yeah. let's go. <laughs> so, question A. Right. Mm -hmm. There were joint winners of the Golden Boot in the Premier League mm -hmm. last season. So, that's Mo Salah yeah. and uh, Son Hoi Min. Yeah. Who was the next top goal scorer? So, was it A, Harry Kane, B, Cristiano Ronaldo, or C, Diego Jota, or Jota. Uh, Ronaldo, it's between Ronaldo and Kane, because Jota, oh my dear, last season. Uh, can't be Ronaldo, I think I'll give a, like, okay, Kane. No, it was Cristiano Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Ah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I like it's not the first one, but the second one, because it was between yeah, Monsala and uh, so yeah. Salah and um, uh, and Sonny, Sonny so yeah. Spurs, yeah. yeah. Okay, right, unlucky. So, oh, question right, B: so With thirteen examples, mm -hmm. who provided the most assists mm -hmm. in the 2021-22 season? That's so the last season, season, of course. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so thirteen times. Yeah. So, was it A. Mo Salah? All right. Was it B, Jared Bowen? All right. Or C, Trent Alexander-Arnold? I think I'm going to go for Arnold. Trent Alexander-Arnold? Oh, yeah. No. Ah, because he's a good person. Like, <laughs> so it's like, Mo Salah with 13. Yeah. Uh, Trent Alexander uh, with 12. 12. Uh, and Jared Bowen with oh. 10. Been bad today. <laughs> well, Alex, we don't often oh. get a new point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope you manage to uh, get the last one. Right, All right. You ready for this? Let's go. No pressure. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Question C: Which team was bottom of the Premier League at Christmas last season? So was it A. Norwich City, B. Newcastle, or C. Burnley? It's between Norwich and I'm burning on wall. Norwich. Norwich. Yes. <laughs> well, well done, sir. <laughs> he was sweating a bit. I see. <laughs> but um, actually, Norwich is only on goal difference. They had minus yeah, 26 yeah, yeah. and Newcastle had minus yeah, 23. Them, so yeah, last season so, was. Yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> and um, yeah, we were.